Breach Defense has reported that the Cavalry Dry Engine has successfully completed high altitude trials in Russia. The Cavalry Dry Engine was tested at various conditions of pressure, speed, and thrust, and it successfully achieved 48.5 kN of thrust. The Cavalry Dry Engine is now scheduled to undergo structural tests, for which Godrej Aerospace has won a contract to manufacture modules of six prototype engines that will undergo 700 hours of testing for certification. The Indian Navy has officially notified the Ministry of Defence that the Rafale Marine fully meets the requirements of the multi-role carrier bond fighter tender, more than the American F-A-18, and the contract signing for 26 carrier bond Rafale Marine fighter jets will happen soon. A key U.S. Congressional Budget Office report was also made public last week that revealed that the newer F-A-18 Super Hornet fighter jets of the U.S. Navy are aging much faster than the older fleet of F-18 Hornets that came before 1990, mainly due to greater levels of galvanic corrosion arising from the greater use of composite metals in F-A-18 Super Hornets. The Indian Air Force have firmed up plans to order 50 more Tejas Mark 1A jets from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and the Indian Air Force has been in extended discussions with the Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics on the planned additional order, but given the budgetary constraints, the Air Force is likely to commit to the 50 additional Tejas Mark 1A, only after the 83 Tejas Mark 1A from the original 2021 contract are delivered. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and French engine maker Safran have signed a workshare agreement for the joint development of an engine for the 13-ton Indian multi-role helicopter and deck-based multi-role helicopter, and the workshare agreement stipulates an equal sharing of activities within the joint venture. Safran has also agreed on the condition for the transfer right to Hindustan Aeronautics, for manufacturing of seven critical forging and casting parts for further enhancement of indigenous content in Shakti engine of Dhruv and light combat helicopter programs. Brazilian firm Embraer is holding talks with the Indian Air Force for the sale of six units of Praetor 600 jet for the Netra Mark I program, which is a smaller jet than the ERJ-145 platform that is currently being used on the Netra Mark I. The Praetor 600 has higher cruise speed better fuel carrying capacity, as well as better on-station endurance, and it also offers twice the range than the ERJ-145. The Praetor 600 has a higher service ceiling of 45,000 feet, as compared to 37,000 feet of the ERJ-145 platform, that will improve radar performance. Bengaluru-based Tardid Technologies is manufacturing three units of unmanned surface vessel, and the company expects to deliver the first vessel unit to the Indian Navy in August 2023. The unmanned surface vessel is named Brainbox Smart Ship Operations, that has a length of about 8 meters, a payload capacity of 200 kilograms, an endurance of more than 12 hours, and can travel at a speed of 12 nautical miles per hour. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Hensolt South Africa for exploring collaboration to co-develop and co-produce stabilized multi-sensor airborne electro-optics gimbal for Indian rotary and unmanned platforms and for future exports. HAL has also signed an agreement with Hensolt Germany for collaboration covering intellectual property rights and transfer for design and manufacture of obstacle avoidance system for Indian helicopters. Oh, my God.